on the Thames today with Eddie and Mark. Back in the kayak, lovely. Nice to have my fish finder working again after spending all that time pulling my hair out over it. I'll take it all back. Well, this is the first, going through a lock. Well, we, we've lost several rods in locks. <laughs> I had to say something reassuring, not... <laughs> yeah, we often see rods get lost. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> The uh, yeah. great time down at Christchurch, didn't you? Oh, it was amazing. It really was. I'm so tired today because we had three days fishing. Just back in time to change my rods to come and do this. Oh, oh please. <laughs> Mark's already into a fish. I'm going to have a, a little dabble with the fly rod today, I reckon. I'm using the Max Catch two weight. I was going to fish a little, little black sedge because I think that'll double up as a beetle or a flying ant. It's only three foot of water, but it's moving water, which is much more uh, chubby than the deep stretch just above the lock. It strikes so hard. <laughs> oh dear. I think it's still on. It doesn't break any records, but it is a chub. Those lovely black fins. It's interesting that Mark and Eddie have chosen to take the shaded bank. Making the most of it while it's there, because that sun's going to get up soon. Have you spotted any good chub? Yeah. Yeah, good. No, I've seen little chublets, you know, but that's it. <laughs> that's a forceps job, I think. But that's so good that they're wolfing it. Admittedly, when I'm putting a bit of movement in it, not while it's dry and sat still. Yeah, wicked. <laughs> Wicked, love it. How are you getting on, Mark? Oh, huh? I've sneaked up on you. You're getting little ones. Sorry? You're getting little ones. Yeah, getting the little ones. Haven't spotted anything big yet. No, I haven't yet. The biggest is about a pale. That's okay. Yeah, my biggest is about five ounces. <laughs> this is proving to be much more difficult than I thought it would be. I saw three good uh, chub underneath the Christmas tree and royally fluffed it, spooked it to death and then uh, very kindly let Mark have a fish afterwards, which I thought was nice of me. A bit further down, just caught my biggest chub so far. I don't get too excited because it's still dinky. Little beauty. So it's probably not even a pound, but don't care. <laughs> really good seeing it come up and smash the fly as soon as it hit the water. Cool. Near the top or was he in? No, on the bottom actually. Was near, it? Near the bottom. Yeah. Uh, the reason I went back there was that I had a small perch big perch came up for it and I thought, well, I'm staying here till I get him and then the chub came along. <laughs> Not on worm though, on See, oh, that's a lovely fish. It's all on video, so. All right. That's recording. Wicked. Go on, Eddie. Yeah, thank you very much. Anyway, do one this side, because the sun wasn't great over there. Okay. Good job. Thanks very much, guys. It was on this, Charles. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look at that lure. Different colours. Yeah, nice. Lovely, thank you. Right, after seeing Eddie catch that big child, I'm going to have to bash for the lure, I think. 
Right, but before I do that, I've got a score to settle with these chub that are about half a pound, that are totally ignoring my uh, that black caddis. So I've just boshed the daddy long legs on. Hopefully, they'll fall for it. Got one on the daddy long legs, that's a touch. Not huge, but it's just nice to see him come up and smash it. Well pleased with that. Barber's hook, out it goes. Lovely. Caught like a demon, I thought it was about two pounds. I think I might try a damsel. I've seen a lot of damsel flies about, and dragonflies actually. And it might be a nice compromise to um, lure fishing. I don't really want to start lure fishing now. I came here to try and catch chub. So that's what I shall try and do. If you ever stumble across this video, I feel for you. I tell you what, watch out for that Eddie. He's a bit of a dark horse, isn't he? He's hanging back. Third one in the in the line, hanging around at the back. And he pulls that out the bag. Say um, dragonfly larvae, the way they go forwards is like little bursts. They're actually um, a jet propulsed. To slow the boat down somehow because that wind, once it catches you, you really start to accelerate. You've got no line control whatsoever, then it's 20 past one, and I'm still persevering with this fly and the nap damsel. It's just not worth it. I've been saying that for the last hour and a half, but um, no, I really mean it now. I'm beat, I give up. I saw a huge chub, I guess that's what the Thames is famous for. It was enormous. I thought it was a part of the willow tree. I thought it was a, a log. Chubs seem much more ready to take a crank bait than they do a, a soft plastic bait. So that's what I'm going to use. I can't remember for the life of me what it is. It might say on the on the vein at the front. What I've done is chopped that down so it's just a single hook, barber's hook at the back. So that gives you some perspective on the size of that snap link. See this lure has got a lovely action. That pipe gone. Right, that lure. That'll teach me. Nothing against pike, I enjoy fishing for pike, not when it's this hot. It's such a controversial subject, I'm not even gonna not even gonna go there. I just think people should just be as informed as they can be, formulate their own views. Something grabbed that. Well, that's just weird. How frustrating. This is proving to be a real tease. I can see some huge perch, but I just cannot get them to take my bait. I'll take the. Um... Very, very frustrating. I'm incredibly antisocial. I haven't seen Mark and uh, Eddie for about an hour. Well, I don't want this lure going through slow. I'll change it for something heavier so I can whiz it through quickly but stay deep. It seems really odd that those fish chase that little perch in. That's not a fish, is it? No. I'm just fishing badly. That's the truth of the matter. I'm giving myself a hard time, but that is the truth of the matter. I've had to accept defeat. I know those fish are there, but I just can't catch them. Frustrating. 
really dense the confidence that. Perfection in miniature. Wow. Only little Jack on a tiny micro shed. What happened there? Myself. <laughs> you have to catch a fish now because I've got the camera rolling, alright? Uh, I'll give you a give you a minute. You can do that, can't you? A minute? Yeah. First cast, so I'm not using this one. With the treble on. I think Mark's got a fish on. Let's have a look. On to my next lure, so that's the fella. I guess trout imitation is it? Shallow diving. That's it, it does the business. It was me, a guy we were chatting to. He's got kayak, he's fishing off kayak, but not on here. Where the mill stream comes in, because they get a lot of Where the mill stream comes in. I think it probably is where it is. Again, you go there now and you get one or two, it's just not in the same numbers, so I don't know what it is, but whether they You've taught them a lesson? It looks that way, yeah. Not even all gone belly up as we thought. I've got to be honest, I felt a lot more confident fishing for chub with this moving water. Just all of it slow moving downstream. Yeah, I'm going to keep going. I mean, it's shallow, but it's not so shallow that there won't be fish. Yeah, okay. Too shallow. <laughs> I think that's another little tiny perch. Yeah. I'll have to do something about that lure. I can't just, it's barbless, but it just sews their mouths together. Look, if you look at that. It's got two hooks through its top lip. One through its bottom lip. One single point, clips it away. Let's see. It's six and a half foot deep. Uh, six and a half foot deep on a sunny hot day like today. I can't imagine the fish are gonna be out and about. Maybe tucked right away. I hear you stormed the mill street. I did indeed, yes. On advice from that chap on the bank. I went up there as well. It was pretty devoid of fish. Yeah, I hammered it on the bank. In my little commentary, I said, no, it's too shallow, no fish here. No, honestly. No, what I should have said is been hammered by Eddie. <laughs> the other two have gone home. It's about four o'clock, maybe five o'clock. When the fish were feeding, I was using the fly rod and catching little tuppets. Probably should have focused more on the lure rod, but you can't do it all in one day, and I'm venturing upstream, and it's a new water. And it's beautiful. Sold. What a scrap. That's an absolute lump. What a scrap. Well pleased with that. I have paddled so far. Right. Nearly did me in the snags as well. Wicked scrap. Here we go. Whoa, have some of that. Gone. <laughs> That'll have to do, won't it?
Right, it's a long paddle back to the car, so I'm gonna finish on that, I think. Finish on a high. But there's thousands more if I keep paddling. Just shallowed up, just shadow, shallowed up a little bit. Six, seven foot of water. I think there are other fish down there. And there's just a little bit more pace, presumably from the weir, next weir up. But um, what a lovely way to finish. I'm dead pleased with that. Oh, I'm so lucky. Look what it did to the lure when I was unhooking it. Just snapped the last, uh, the last point off. Anyway. Yeah. What luck. Yeah, so be a winner with a spinner. I'm going to use this MEPS on the way back. Last cast. As you can see, I found another crankbait. Echo. My last one. Go, fish on. Blimey. Okay, I saw the bow wave come out for that. It's not nearly as big as the last one, but it's suddenly woken up actually. Unless the pike's nabbed it. No. It's bigger than I thought it was. Look at that lovely tub. Absolute beauty. It's been an amazing day. Lovely to be out in the river. I can't believe how long I've been afloat for. Almost 12 hours. <laughs> 12 hours sat on this kayak. With the exception of a five minute interval for a leak. I love it. Right, let's go home.